All right, here's what's really going on. And yeah, this one affects all flagship phones next year, not just chip nerds like us. Next year, Qualcomm and MediaTek are planning their next big chips. We're talking Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 and Dimensity 9600. These are the chips that will power the most expensive Android phones of 2026. But here's the problem. Everything around these chips is getting way more expensive. Let's start with the big one, LPDDR6 RAM. LPDDR6 is the next-gen phone memory. It's faster, it's more efficient, and yes, it's crazy expensive right now. Because of that, LPDDR6 RAM will not be everywhere. According to a new leak, only the top flagship chips will get LPDDR6. Not mid-range, not almost flagship, only the pro-level stuff. So if your phone doesn't use Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 or Dimensity 9600, forget LPDDR6. And even then, not all versions get it. Qualcomm is apparently doing something interesting this time. They're planning two versions of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6, one normal version, one pro version, and only the pro version gets LPDDR6 RAM. That means faster memory, faster GPU, better performance, but also higher price. MediaTek, on the other hand, is keeping it simple. They're sticking with one Dimensity 9600, and that one should support LPDDR6. No pro version, no split lineup. Now here's where things get spicy. LPDDR6 RAM is expensive today, but the rumor says Chinese memory companies might start mass producing LPDDR6 next year. If that happens, Qualcomm and MediaTek might get slightly better prices. But don't get your hopes up too much, because RAM is only one part of the problem. The real monster is TSMC's 2 nanometer chip process. Qualcomm and MediaTek are moving to TSMC 2 nanometer next year, and each 2 nanometer wafer is rumored to cost around $30,000. Let that sink in. $30,000 for one wafer. That's insane. So now, Qualcomm and MediaTek are getting hit from both sides. Expensive RAM, insanely expensive chip manufacturing, and somebody has to pay for that. There are only two options. One, Qualcomm and MediaTek cut their profits. Two, phone companies raise prices. And let's be honest, we all know which one usually happens. Yup, more expensive phones. This is why flagship phones in 2026 could get even pricier than 2025. Now, there's another interesting detail here. Qualcomm and MediaTek are rumored to use TSMC's N2P version of 2 nanometer. Apple, on the other hand, will stick to regular N2 for the A20 and A20 Pro. N2P is only about 5% faster than N2. That's not a huge jump, but Qualcomm and MediaTek want any edge they can get over Apple, even if that edge costs more money. So yeah, they're willing to pay extra, and again, that cost doesn't disappear. It moves down the chain, to phone brands, then to stores, then straight to your wallet. Now here's the small bit of good news. This situation isn't forever. The rumor says memory prices may calm down in 2027. If that happens, chips like Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 7 and Dimensity 9700 could be cheaper to make, and that could finally stop flagship prices from climbing every single year. But for 2026, it's looking rough. So let's quickly break this down in simple terms. LPDDR6 RAM is expensive, so only top chips get it. Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 6 has two versions, so only Pro gets LPDDR6. Dimensity 9600 gets LPDDR6, but still costly. TSMC 2 nanometer wafers cost around $30,000. Qualcomm and MediaTek use slightly faster N2P, Apple sticks to normal N2, and somebody has to pay, and it's probably us. This is why flagship is starting to mean luxury phone. Better performance? Yes. Better efficiency? Yes. But cheaper? Not even close. 
If you're planning to buy a 2026 flagship, just know this. You're not just paying for the phone. You're paying for next-gen RAM, two nanometer chips, and a brutal manufacturing cost war. And that's the...